Hello children. In today's video, we are going to learn about living and non-living things. Yes, of course, you have learned about these living and non-living things in your previous classes. But today, we will learn the, some further information about this lesson. Okay. Then, as the heading says, a living and non-living things, do you know what are living things? Yes, what are living things? Yes, things or uh, living things means which have the life, isn't it? That may be animals, human beings and plants, these all are having life. So, these all are called as living things. Then what, what are non-living things? Things which do not have life, which do not have life for themselves. They are, they all are called as non-living things. You can give example, how we give example for living things. Those are human beings, other animals, birds, insects and the plants. These all are living things. But for non-living things, I can give uh, examples. Uh, for example, there is a rock, there is a moon, there is a mountain, there is a sun. Isn't it? These all are example for the uh, um, non-living things. But these all are naturally non-living things. These all are present these all are before only they were there on the earth but after some time the man has made some uh, non-living things those are called as artificial non-living things for example i am using this water this is non-living thing but it is made by human being and i am using this chalk piece non-living thing but made by human being similarly pen isn't it? Building and the table and the chair, whatever we see, some artificial non-living things are there. And even the sun, moon, mountain, hill, the big rock, these all are also non-living things, but these are natural non-living things. Okay, now you got an idea, clear idea about living and non-living things. What are living things and what are non-living things? But now, uh, we will concentrate on features of living things. Features of living things. Means how we are separating living things from non-living things. Because living things have some features. They are going to, uh, uh, they are going to go under some processes. They will exhibit some of their special characters. Then what are those special characters here? First one is, Living things need food, isn't it? So we all living things, animals we see, the dog, the cat and the other animals, the cow, buffalo, the um, bull, these all are living things, other other animals, even they all need food. Then why they need the food? If they do not eat the food, they will not get energy, isn't it? So all the living things need food including human being including us see if we do not eat the food what will happen to us there will be no energy to perform any activity and we will be not casual and we will feel some nervous we will feel uh, some boring to do any we will be not so active to perform any activities uh, casually because that day or that time we are not having food in our stomach then the food gives energy, isn't it? The food, all the animals will eat the food. And even, can you think, we are telling that living things, uh, uh, even the plants are also coming and living things only. Can you think that even the plants are also going to eat food? Uh, how we eat or how the dog will eat or how the cat will eat? Yes, of course. Plants are also eating food, but they will not eat like us, the chapati and the bhaji and the sambar or like just like a dog, the before night uh, uh, rice, it dog will eat, but plants will not eat like this. Plants are going to produce their own food. Plants are going to produce their own food with the help of photosynthesis process. Of course, this process is named as photosynthesis about this you will learn in the next class then the plants are also eat food but they will not take from outside they are going to produce their food for themselves and they are going to eat isn't it then next one is 
Breathing. Breathing means what? See here, we need air surrounded us, isn't it? If there is no air, we cannot survive there. We are not at all going to live in that particular area. Isn't it? Like us, some other animals also need the air. Because in the air, they are going to breathe inside the air. oxygen and they will leave out the carbon dioxide. Isn't it? And even what about the plants then? For plants also we are calling the living thing. Then it should uh, perform the second uh, feature also. It should show the second feature. feature that is how the plants are going to breathe. They are not having a uh, nose like us. They are not having any nostrils like us. They are not having lungs like us. Then how the plants are going to breathe? Plants are going to breathe. You might, uh, yeah, with the naked eyes, it is not possible to see. But you might have studied that plants are going to produce food from their leaf part. And if we see uh, the small in the microscope, if we see this part of uh, leaf, the edge of this one, if we see, we can get a small hole there. That opening will help the leaf to exchange the gases from the surrounding okay this is how the plants are going to breathe then even the third feature uh, feature that is sorry second feature that is breathing plants are also going to do this one and even the animals are also going to do this one isn't it then next we will move to grow the living things are growing then how it is Yes, of course, when we were born, we were very small and when uh, gradually we started growing, isn't it? Gradually we have started growing. Our height is not same now and our weight is also not same now and even our, our body parts are also have grown, isn't it? Then the, all the living animals are going to show the growth or they are going to grow gradually. Then what about the plants? They are also going to grow? Yes. Yes. We know that plants are also going to grow. Before they will be a seed. Very small seed. You might have seen all the seeds of many big plants will be very small. Once the seed is going to sowing in the soil. If we have sown this in the soil. It will start into germination. After germination small two leaf will come outside. And then after it will grow to a small plant and then it will grow to a medium plant then it is growing to a big tree isn't it then the plants are also having growth in their life then movement that is move all the living things will move means what living things are going to move from one place to another place of course, we all are moving from one place to another place and other animals are also moving to from one place to another place. We are moving from one place to another place to do some activities for some purposes, isn't it? And even in similarly, other animals also moving from one place to another place to get food, to get water, to get shelter or to get breed. Breed means they want to reproduce and um, they will move for some other things from one place to another place. They will keep on moving. Then all the living things will move from one place to another place. Then what about the plant? Is it going to move from one place to another place? No, it may not move from one place to another place from here to here but it can show some movement in their body parts, isn't it? Then what are those body, body parts? You might have seen a uh, touch me not plant. If you touch that plant, it is going to shrink, isn't it? Why it is going to shrink? Because it is going to move its body part, that is leaf. When we are going to touch it, it is going to move or shrink. Its body part is going to move. And even we have seen the sunflower. Morning it will be like this. In the opposite direction of the sun. And when morning uh, the sun rises, it uh, along with the sun, even the flower also arises like this. Isn't it? Then it is going to 
perform a body movement. It is not going to move from one place to another place. But it is going to perform a body movement. That is movement of the flower. Before it will be bended. And then it is gradually like this. It is going upside. Isn't it? This is how the plants are going to move. Then next part, next point is reproduce then the living things reproduce reproduce means what have you heard this word yes reproduce means the living things are going to produce the young ones just like them see how the um, uh, puppy of a dog will be just like a dog only now how the kitten of the cat will be just like a cat only isn't it then how we all are just like our parents this is how the all the animals are going to produce another one young one isn't it and even what about the plants are they going to produce yes of course they will also produce with the help of their seed they are going to produce the same type of plant another one okay then the reproduction takes place even in the animal also and the plant also okay and then next one is response to the change. What is this response to the change? Suddenly if I get very hot, how do you feel? It's very hot, isn't it? You need a air and your expression is going to change. Suddenly if you feel very cold climate, how it is? Your body is going to respond. You feel very cold. You don't want to come outside. You want to wear the sweater, isn't it? And then if suddenly it is a raining, we are holding the umbrella and wearing the jacket, isn't it? While eating, if I get very bitter one, how do I am going to respond? Gee, this is very bitter, I can't eat this one. Your facial expression is going to respond to the change, isn't it? So uh, suddenly if you get your favorite food that you want to eat it, then how your expression will be, how you are going to change yourself, your body language. You are going to respond in a positive manner. Then the same thing happens even in the other animals also. They are also going to respond to the change. Suddenly if you are beating any animal, if you start beating a dog, what will do? It will look at with a love, with a like this. Or you, are, you are beating to me, you beat again, you beat again. Is it going to do it like this? No, it will look with the angry and it will um, come to bite you. When if a snake is moving, you are uh, throwing a stone on the snake, what it will do? It is again, it is coming back and it will try to bite you. This is how even the other animals are also uh, responding to the sudden change. Then what do you think, what about the plants, are they also going to change or are they also going to respond to the change in their surrounding? Yes, even they are also going to change in the response to the change. How? Just now I gave you an um, example of the touch me not plant. When we touch, it is going to shrink. That is because of its sensitivity, the leaf of that plant is going to shrink. Then it is going to respond for the change. And even the sunflower uh, is going to move from uh, downside to upside. However, the sun rises, then that, that has the sense organ within that. Then it is going to respond to the change with the sun. This is how the response to the change takes place in both animals as well as the plants then uh, next one is life cycle okay we all have life cycle how it is called as life cycle when we have born very small baby we were and gradually we have grown five years ten years and we started talking we started walking isn't it we started eating nicely and then after some years we all have grown up into adult isn't it? After some age, we will become aged. After some age, again, we will become uh, further aged. And after that, after 80 years or 70 years, we are going to die. Isn't it? Then, 
the same thing happens for other animals also also that may be a donkey that may be a horse that may be elephant when they have grown they will be very small again gradually they will grow they will reach the adult stage then uh, medium again the last aged stage and after age they are going to die this is after death again we, uh, again next small baby again the adult again the aged and again the death this happens even in the all living things even this happens in the plants also seed germination small plant big tree and they, it will give uh, the um, fruits and the flowers it is going to grow give after some years again it is going to reproduce uh, or uh, it is going to give birth to another one or it is losing its all capacity to give the fruit and the flowers this is how the life cycle is performed by the living things those are animals as well as the plants and the last one is death if once we born we have to die this is for animals also and this is for the plants also this is what the last point so by this the features today's class we have learnt living and non living things and the features of living things in that we have discussed these all points and we have learnt so many information about these features um, and even we have learnt about the plants also isn't it so by this we are going to wind up today's class uh, but before uh, ending this one i want to give you some homework okay you are writing uh, answers for answers for what are what are what are living things living things first one what are living things and give examples give examples and second one what are non living things what are non living things give give examples okay will you do this homework okay bye